flags, cheers, and patriotism as Hosni Mubarak's 30-year rule over Egypt came to an end. Local Arab Americans gathered in Anaheim's Little Arabia to celebrate Mubarak's resignation following more than two weeks of demonstrations. It's the power of peaceful people. Nobody have a knife, nobody have a gun, nobody have any weapon. And they win. The dictator, finally, the, the strongest dictator in the world was Hosni Mubarak. I feel great, of course. I'm so happy he resigned after 29 years. Of it's been a long time and as a president, I think, as an Egyptian, I'm so happy, I'm so proud of Egypt. Oh. There is there is few stages to this. The first stage is accomplished. The the president is out, you know, according to what the people needed, according to the oppression. Forty percent of Egyptians are living on the poverty line, two dollars per day. So of course it's a great step after 31 years of being under dictatorship, uh, under the same regime. Me and my generation, none of us seen any other president, never seen any other form of freedom. So, of course I'm excited, but at the same time, we're going into a brand new phase that we've never experienced before. And next, uh, I believe that, that the, this, this experience, it's gonna affect the whole world. The, the history is gonna be written from all over again. A lot, a, a lot of, of populations, a lot of people who was, who was ruled by dictators, they're gonna change their lives. We'll still be worried, but it's a happy war versus before oppressed war. So, of course, there's going to be a worry level, but overall, we're all happy. We're all excited for the, you know, free, free Egypt for the future. Uh, and God bless Egypt. God bless the world, and God bless anyone that's trying to stand for their freedom and try to speak loudly. Their voices will be heard. Never underestimate the power of people anymore. From Anaheim, this is Nick Gerda for the Coast Report.